Are we live? Are we live? I'm alive! <laughs> alive. It's alive! Alive! We're all alive! Speak for yourself. <laughs> and maybe we're on time. We are. We close. have one minute. Oh, close, cool. Close, close. Cool. I sure hope that our internet mm -hmm. works, guys. Oh, look, there's a beer under the chair. I can kick it over. Do no. not! That would be terrible. That would be so sad. Oh. Okay. The saddest. The saddest? The absolute saddest. Looking to see here. Oh, yep, we are live. Cool. And Cabby is already here. Hey, Cabby. Knew we could count on her. You know, we never actually say hi enough to you, Cabby, when you come on, but we are so happy to see you, sort of. We are. I mean, we're happy. We're very happy, and we're sort of seeing you. <laughs> and David's here. Hi, David. You too. We see you almost every week, I think. Spoilers, guys. Okay. Uh, spoilers? <laughs> and Stop. Quinn's here. The gang's all here. Yay! Who? The gang's all here. Quinn, David, and Caddy. Yep. Our, uh, yeah. they, they show up to all of them. They love us. All we're waiting well. for now is Craig. Where's I know, Craig? right? Oh, he oh. usually shows up and talk shit somewhere He in does. He does. <laughs> and William's not here yet, you know. Also, my family. Well, Hunter. Hunter. Hunter's not here Stewart. yet. Stuart. Stuart. Right. Yeah, sometimes Mary shows. Anyway. Huh. What can you say? So, it's been a week because uh, Julian and I decided to do an additional competition. There's actually a world pipes and drums competition. I think last year when they did it, there was something like two. There, there were around two thousand people. Two thousand people competing. It's not sanctioned, so it doesn't actually count. But it's a good way to keep us practicing. What are you laughing at? I'm talking about you. No, it's okay. Uh, William is here and Mary is here. Hot Mary? Mary, Mary Ferguson? Yes. Yeah, Mary. <laughs> well, William says, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, William. We wouldn't know what to do without you. <laughs> the, so, the delay is bad today. Our internet's out, so we're, we're doing this from a MiFi device, so it's going to be very slow for us to find out what is happening between what you're seeing and what we're seeing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, anyway, so Jill and I both spent a lot of the last weekend submitting more competition videos yes nope. we did nope. and nope. now it's it'll be a week i mean thing. well heck they're not even they didn't have to be uploaded until the fifth so yeah i'm working might, on uploading mine now yeah we might well, don't do it now we only have the my device excellent so we've been looking at um one of our what well, technically is our second cd the first one that had jillian in it um that was 15 or so years ago. She was 12. And uh, we realized we liked a lot of the music on it, and we don't play it anymore. <laughs> so we've we been not. revisiting it. Um, today, we're going to play a couple of tunes that to a lot of you will be familiar. Um, we'll we'll uh, discuss them after we play them. Yep. Should we go ahead and play them? I mean, we have nine people watching. Sure. I mean, you know. It's usually about how many we get. We need to break up the talking a little bit anyway. So True. Well, let's give them some music. That's why they're here oh. anyway. Hey, Jean! You're world traveling friends while I'm staying here in Louisiana. Jean. Yes. My college roommate. Yes. My, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. terrible. That I'm sorry, bad. Jean. That Jean, you were, she was my, my first she was my sorority little sister. She was my roommate. You know, we, we were well, anyway. The first thing that popped into my head, too, Joe. <laughs> you guys are awful. This is, this is her living, Jean. No, wait. Jean, where does Jean live now? She went to Germany, didn't she? Oh gosh, she's been all over the place. Yeah, why are you putting me on the spot here? I would answer that question accurately because of course I remember every place that my very good friends <laughs> live, but I have to play drums now. Yep, let's have some music, guys. <laughs>
is called Race of Mallow. Okay. And for some reason, whenever pipers play it, you'll get a whole group of pipers playing it. And then they will just keep speeding up until there's one left. And I remember one year at Grandfather Mountain at the Highland Games, Jillian was young. 12-ish? 2004, so she was about 12. Okay, so we're camping in the campground, and all of a sudden, it was the coolest thing. All of these kids go marching through with bagpipes. And so she joins them, and then they circle up, and they start playing Rakes of Mellow. And she was in a stare-off with this one kid. I do remember that. <laughs> My first emphasis. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I am not even going to be part of that. So I guess since we're talking about Rakes of Mallow, which was the second tune, uh, is something you probably, if you're if you're a John Wayne fan at all, you saw on uh, the movie The Quiet Man. Yeah. They whistle it. The orchestra plays it. The I mean, people the pipe come band it. plays it. Yeah, it's um, all over. That's the one that goes dum bum 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 ba da 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 dum bum 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 ba da da da. Anyway. So technically, I did a little work, a little looking up on Ranks of Mallow, and it's interesting because it they say it's 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 a traditional Irish song. It's a polka. I didn't know that. It is. I guess that makes sense actually. Yes, and it's supposedly about the rakes, which are the flirty guys. Yes, that's an old word. <laughs> from a town, the town of Mallow in Ireland. Um, interestingly enough. It's, it says it's similar to a tune called the Rigs of Marlowe, <laughs> from which it may be adopted. Yeah, you may. The Rigs of Marlowe. Yeah, it's, it's also... That's about the oil rigs that they had off the coast of Ireland. That tune sounds familiar. Is that the Rigs of Marlowe? No, it's the Rigs of Marlowe. Well, maybe, duh. Maybe it was when Marlowe was burning witches and they had that big rig that they would hang them in. Maybe. Or also a drum. fight song for fight Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame? That's not the fight song for Notre Dame. It says here, it is also used as a fight song for Notre Dame fighting Irish fans. I read I'm on reading the it on the internet. It's it got to be, be true. true. <laughs> 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 um, yes, it does. Well, it might be one of the fight songs, but that's not the fight song that they wanted me to play when all the Notre Dame graduates met at, where was that, Finn McCool's, oh, to yeah. watch the Notre Dame game and somebody else, and we had to... Bob Grubb and I had to play that, that yes. whatever that fight song was. Quinn says that the words are fun, too. Are they? I don't know the words. I guess we'll have to look them up. Much sure Cook says a one. Got it. I got it. Now, interestingly enough, it is one of the European songs adapted by the Indian Carnatic music composer that I can't pronounce his name <laughs> um, as a prayer to the goddess Minashki, Min Min Minakshi, with Sanskrit lyrics. Okay. Yes. That's different. It is. It is. There'll be a test when this is over, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're taking notes. So the other tune, the first tune that we played, Julian will find. Have you found the lyrics? Yeah. Uh, bowing, belling, dancing, drinking, breaking windows, cursing, sinking, every raking, never thinking, live the rakes of mallow. Okay. Spending faster than it comes, beating waiters, bailiffs, duns, Bacchus, is, Bacchus true, begotten sons, li li live the rakes of mallow. Okay, those are like fun. A party. Yeah, thank you. Good call. Uh, the other tune we played, the first one is called oh, the Irish the Washerwoman. Steve's gonna sing for a while. Long. <laughs> okay, first tune we played was a jig called the Irish Washerwoman. Also a traditional tune. I don't know about you guys, but I actually learned that as a song in school. I need a woman, a woman, a good washerwoman, a woman, a good washerwoman. A woman, a woman, a good washerwoman. It's a never actually learned that. Never learned yeah, that, it was no. a folk song. Yeah. See, that just makes me think of like all the weird lyrics that I learned to pop songs in like Girl Scouts and Vacation Bible School. Oh, well, there is that. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Adams family will never be the same. I so, go ahead. Anyway, um, it's also if you ever watch Scottish dancing, um, Highland dancing competitions, they do a really cool um, dance to this. If I can find one 
on the internet, which is not working at my house right now, after we finish, I'll try and post it on our Facebook page. It's a, it's a very stompy. It is. Thing. They're very. They're, they're stomp and they they throw things down and they're. And I think it's 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 something about how they got mad and quit because they weren't get, getting paid enough for washing clothes or something. Anyway, <laughs> tells the story. I don't, know, I don't know what the jig. Obviously, we slacked by not learning the dance. We yep. obviously did. We don't dance fast pay the reels either. And I would just like to say, in my own personal defense, that, you know, the last time we used, when we played that tune, Irish Washerwoman, Woman, as a performance piece before, you guys were playing it a lot slower. Were we really? Yes. That was already so slow, though. I know. Well, you know, I could not play the drums like I used to play with that. Oh, no. Well, look, look <laughs> it up. was too fast. Look up. Don't look it up right now. We've got people here. Look at them. They can look, look at, at them. themselves because we're on Spotify <laughs> and we have lots of CDs you can go listen to them. And yes, Spotify, Craig, and CD Baby. And actually, oh, we're, <laughs> we're actually in your room. We are. Uh, right behind you. Craig, Craig, <laughs> Craig says, how are we seeing you if there's no internet? Are we actually in your room? Yes. And you know no, how... No, we're in Craig's we're in room. room. Yes. yes. And you know how you can tell we're in your room? Because... It's full of pirate stuff. How that would is. I know that? How would I? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I have fun with Irish Washerwoman. How so? Every time a bride shows up in a limousine, that's the tune I play for oh, you get out of the car person. on. <laughs> well, it's better than your brother-in-law. My brother-in-law who plays the, uh, the pipe organ, and uh, uh, he plays a tune that has some big old long German name. That, uh, that he likes to use because it's very pompous and step and they're good a good professional for the bride if she doesn't request anything but the name of the tune in English translates to all men must die so yeah yeah it that's where I got the, the idea that's where I got the it's idea Ben's twisted yeah. sense of humor okay what are we drinking or do we want to play another tune first since we've just done this? I can play them another jig. Play them another jig. Yeah. You know, just Don't for. Kick over that beer. I'm not going to kick over that beer. The only one I'm worried about kicking over the beer is you. <laughs> Have I done it yet? No. I'm going Does to it mean you're not going to? No, you're not. You don't like that beer. Is it going to mess you up if I try and play with you? Probably. Uh, Potentially, but you can go ahead and try anyway. <laughs> Should I do it really quietly? It's, it's li I mean, this is live. Like, people make mistakes. So, this is a competition tune that Jillian's working right. on. So, you actually can compete in a jig. Uh, this one's called ah. Ins Inspector Donald Campbell of Ness, and it's a lot of fun. Um, we'll see We'll see how it goes. Oh, I would like to say before you start that, that Ed Best, my drum instructor, has already found a lovely YouTube recording of women, of the Highland Irish dancers Washer, yes. dancing the Irish Washerwoman, so check Ed Best's comments in... So if you the think about the, if you think about the Irish Washerwoman that we already played, you know it's got that you'll be hearing a lot. You'll be hearing that same rhythm in this tune. The jigs are all in six eight. They all have the I'm that that assuming that's what Ed found. It is. If if you open, I guess I have. Okay, what that is. Because if it's something else, I don't know. What? Nothing. I said if I if it's something else, I take no responsibility.
yes, I agree with you. Oh, to have young fingers. <laughs> um, let's see, I saw some other things in here too that I wanted to comment on. Gary Owen, we didn't play today. We no. played Great Tamalo. Yes. But yes, Gary Owen, we played, didn't we play it? Right here. <laughs> Didn't we play Gary Owen last week or the week before? Uh, Maybe. Maybe. No, I don't remember. Maybe last Gary week, last week. Up, but anyway, was it, was, a, it, was, yeah. it was one of Custer's favorite tunes. Yeah, we may have so, done that for hand washing. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, that's so. exactly what we did. Um, yeah. You know, it's interesting that uh, Scottish music, um, bagpiping is not a real standalone thing. Tanya and Eddie were with us too. Oh, cool. My niece Tanya and yes. Eddie Knight in the neighborhood. Hey, Eddie. Eddie. Uh, anyway, um, piping. Well, particularly Scottish piping and drumming, is not considered to be a standalone thing. You know, you're competing by yourself or with a drummer. Um, but the history and the uses of it, all of that ties in. Uh, for example, if you compete with a march, you are expected to march. It is a marching tune. Um, the dance tunes. You're expected to keep in mind that it is a dance tune. One of the comments Julian got from a judge. Yeah, it said something like, um, don't rush through this, give the dancer time to land. Even though there's cool. no dancer. So, you know, but, it's nothing is standalone. The whole, all of Scottish culture is tied up in, in piping. The, the dancers bring up an interesting point. When you're playing something like a Strathbay, which is a very jumpy dance, they're always jump, jumping up and down. They're all jumping. When you're playing for the beginners, the little kids, you have to play a lot faster. Because they, they can't, they can't, can't jump, jump as high. high. <laughs> when you're playing for the adult professional women <laughs> or men who are dancing, then you have to play slower. You have to hold the long notes longer so that they can get up and down. Yeah. There are some people that are just dance pipers. Yeah. One of my many instructors over the years told me that. I think it was John Rednagle. I bet it was Rednagle. Yeah. He, yeah. plays, he plays for oh. dancers all the time. He's really good. Oh, and yeah. two things. Uh, hi, Carrie. Hey, Carrie. High school. Your high school? Snowflake High School? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, That's awesome. High school. And, um, None of my people ever plug in. Yes, because you, because you, they were just glad to be rid of you. Probably. Um, William, <laughs> William says be. that we, oh, this, I'm sorry, Julian, this one's for you. William said we mentioned something about burls. A while back. Yes. So he's curious if we can show a burl. So basically, I'll, I'll play one. Get up really close so they can see your Yeah, hold on, let me make sure. A burl is, is a quiet chant. A burl is one, one of the um, specialty movements in bagpipe music. There it is. Music. All right, so played very slowly. The movement is this. There's actually several ways to play a burl. That's the way I play it. That's called the tap drag. There's also which is a seven, and then a tap tap, which is just. So I like the tap drag. This it it really just depends on uh, on what your finger does best. But very quickly, it's so um, one of the tunes that I play for competition actually has a lot of burls in it, and it's a. Uh, And so on, but yeah, all that brr, 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 that's all a burl. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> I have fun. They're yes. a lot of fun for you. <laughs> yes, because I play them very well. I've been told by many people that I play them very well. So what are you drinking, Steve? I'm drinking what is it? Chafunky monkey. A chafunky monkey. <laughs> yes. It's a combination. It's a beer cocktail. Again, chafunky brewing, as you all, if anybody who's been here before, knows we drink a lot of chafunky. They beer. They, they, they're a mile away from us. I mean. For local you, business, good deal. You work right? there. You tell them what I'm drinking. So, a Chafunky Monkey is a combination of two beers. Uh, one of them <laughs> being... This is, the, this is the coconut. So, one of them is the, Look at the color. coconut banana hammock. It is a banana and coconut hefeweizen. Very heavy on the banana, I find. It's delicious and refreshing, but that's the part of the monkey. Um, and the other beer is the Old 504, which is a vanilla coffee porter. And you can see that color there. It's delicious. So combined, we've been calling it the Chafunky Monkey. And it has been oh, a uh, a crowd favorite for a while. Now my glass is full again. I'm going to have oh, to drink it all. No, oh, here, let me no. help you with that. <laughs> and just a reminder, again, during this quarantine period, Support don't forget your local, your local businesses. They are all struggling. I mean, I know, I know that... that you know, chains hire 
local people and yes they need to work too and they need all I, I'm not saying don't support them but remember that if your local store closes they're not come, they're not going to come back they don't have big money backing them they don't have you know they'll be gone yep. and these are neighbors so does, if I own a business and I close my business because I run out of money do I get unemployment maybe let's not figure that out right now no Julie Somebody needs to say know. what we're drinking. Why ask? Yep. So we are drinking. We are in no politics zone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and, until, until, uh, until the question. Well, yeah, but we're also not a business zone. So we're. Go for it. It's music Monday. Music Monday. Okay. Music. Um, and so we're going to talk about beer. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so recently, a uh, a friend of mine and her family uh, went to South Dakota for a few weeks for her husband's job, and. But like right before they came back, so Dakota. <laughs> no. Then, no. No. Wrong state. Okay. Sorry. S O S O U T H D A K O T A South Dakota. Dakota. Yes, it works. <laughs> um, it's music, music for Music Monday. So anyway, my friend Ainsley went to South Dakota with her family and visited one of the breweries that they found, uh, Granite City Brewery. As you can see, she brought me back beer. Um, um, this is called a growler. This is 64 ounces. Um, it's up to here now. Yeah, we. so the thing about a growler is that you have to drink it pretty quickly. Like They suggest you open it within three days of fill and that you drink it like within a couple of days after that. So like these really don't last more than about a week. Um, well, think of it like a, a bottle of Coke, a, a liter bottle of Coke. If right. you don't drink it in a couple it goes days flat. after you open it, or if you let it get too low and don't drink it, it, it goes flat very So quickly. we're probably finishing this tonight. Yes. Um, but this was the only to-go option that they had. So, yeah, they didn't have crowlers, they didn't have cans, they didn't have any of the normal stuff. And so my bestest friend in the whole world bought me a growler full of beer. You could and actually not say nice things about her. I don't think she's watching. <laughs> no, but she, she, she brought me beer. Quickly. She did. She brought me beer. I have to say nice things about her at least and until the beer is Do you gone. know what this is? It's called, well, um, it's called the Benny. You interrupted me. I had a thing that I was saying. I wasn't even a I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. But, <laughs> but, it, but it was in the middle of a thought. You had one? I stopped. I did. I stopped. Um, anyway, so she packed this. It's, it's funny at least. She packed this in her luggage. And it put her six pounds over the weight limit <laughs> for her flight home. I have been and, there done Yeah, that. so she, so this was a, this was an expensive growler for her, but it was worth it. It's called the Benny. It is a Bach, I believe, mm -hmm. and it's delicious. Uh, and she's drinking it too, because if I tried to drink all of this right now, it would not end well. Nope. Yeah, I ran into that when we went to Victoria, Canada and bought a whole <laughs> mess of beer to so come much. back with. And it was, what was it? It was $75 uh, overweight yeah. charge, I think. Yep. But it was only $100 to upgrade the first class. And then you get free bags. So we upgraded the first class. Oh, you motherfuckers. And we wrote first it's class great. in Victoria to Denver. It's great. <laughs> It was great. I wasn't on this trip. And the problem you is, is that we hadn't really flown first class that much, so we got there early, 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 and so we ate breakfast because, you know, and then we get on the plane, and well, they're we, like, would you like breakfast? We actually, we ate a Tim Horton biscuit or some sort. Timmy's! Then we went to the airport restaurant, and it's like, oh man, the bacon smells so good, so, so we ate that. another breakfast. Then we get on the damn airplane and they ask us if we want a breakfast. Well, I'm not going to turn down. We're food. paying for it. You know, yeah. I'm not going to turn it down. Also so champagne. Another breakfast. Also champagne. And champagne. As much as you want. It's great. And see, the aromas of the light of the couch. It's great. Yep. You know what made it even better? Time. You know what was even better? What? There was no Julian there. No. And no Morgan. <laughs> All right, cool. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Take my beer. Take my beer. Come back with your beer. <laughs> um. Quinn would like to point out that it's also very important to tip your servers. Yes, yeah, the, they're, and yes. They're, they're only serving half the people that they normally serve. Yes, so, they are, and you know, usually they are paid less than they make other food. people because people because their employers just assume they're going to be making it up in tips. Well, the so, government assumes that too. So yes. they, they make 2 to $3 an hour, 
and depend on the tip to make it up to the living wage of 15 or 20 dollars yes. an hour. So thank you, Quinn. I, I can't yeah. believe I would forget servers. All right. Having been one myself. Yeah. Okay. We're not drinking tea this time. I'm not. I'm helping she Julian with his growler. Okay. Okay. What time is it? It's a good oh, question. No. It's like 4.30? Huh. 4.30? Oh, so we're... Yes, we had second and third breakfast, Caddy points out. Just like a, just yes. like a good hobbit. Yes. Good hobbit. <laughs> I forgot about that, but yeah. <laughs> Ask if we had lunch. No, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe not even supper. Well, we got on that plane. The plane oh. left at 5.30 in the morning, if I recall it. So we're looking at, you know, 4 o'clock in the morning, we're trying to, to catch the plane. And by the time we got to Denver, it was like 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, fortunately for us, there was a bar open. And we had beer <laughs> at the Denver airport. <laughs> we did. We did. Beer? Us? Okay, are we going to play this tune again? I don't know how I'm going to play the bow with you guys, but I'll figure it out. Don't play like triple time. I'll have to do that, yeah? We can, we can play it slower. No, let's not. Alright. Look, I'm going to remember to play it slower. This time. You know, that would be awesome. But I forgot to do it the last time. Oh, no. Part was so loud. After I just refilled my beer. <sighs> I'm going to say don't put it by the chair leg because I will finally move that chair again. Yes. Um, uh, Do we have final thoughts? Ren Cruz. 
Oh gosh, it's still going on. They as have far not as canceled we know. it. It's for February. We're hoping for either herd, herd immunity or vaccine and or cure. So, Excellent uh, cancellation policy. Yep, we'll know by the end of November if it's going to sail in February. So lots of, uh, reserve your space. Ren, lots of Ren Crew specific swag, apparently. Did yeah. you see that they, they've got like the horns, the drinking horns with the Ren Crews so logo they, on? Oh, that's fun. Yes. You know, hoping somebody comes on to the cruise and buys me one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You never mind. Don't. <laughs> Do not. No. <laughs> but yes, ringcruise.com. We're also hoping, keeping a really good thought oh, yeah. about the uh, Louisiana Renaissance Festival, which, um, as it stands, we're still it's still looking about starting in the first weekend of November. Um, we just have to see how things go in Louisiana and elsewhere. So we're going to let a few other Renaissance festivals like Texas and Georgia kind of, you know, be the, the canaries in the, in the line for us. That's one way of looking and at it. And we just hope that the canaries live. It's that is the goal, yes. That the, is. If the canaries that live, is. we're good. Also, all of the school students. Yes. <laughs> all of them. We want them all to live. Yeah. So until we are back, what? Yeah, I was just going to say, as always, let us know if there's something you want us to play, bagpipe-wise. You know, if you have a favorite tune off of our uh, off our CDs, we still have a Dusty Train, you know. Huh. Oh, well, you know, Quinn oh, is giving us some, some lovely advice. Is he? About a finger joint lubricant and also... <laughs> a finger joint yes. lubricant? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know, we, we actually, we used to call um, Scotch whiskey reed oil. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Irish whiskey... There are some fine Irish whiskeys out there, and I do not mean to criticize them, and I am but just making a joke, <laughs> but I just have to say this, okay? Please don't take this personally, Quinn. Do you know when Scotsmen drink Irish whiskey? It's when we need to water our scotch down. But it's true. It's because Irish whiskey, good, the good stuff, tastes like the purest, oh, yeah, cleanest water. I mean, it's just... There's, so smooth. You you put you put scotch in your mouth and you're like, yeah, there is something there. <laughs> <laughs> Got to clear out the, when, the dirt. When you're drinking Irish whiskey, the good ones, mm -hmm. you sometimes wonder if there's any alcohol in it. Yep. When you're drinking scotch, you're right. You know you put. Oh yeah, in your it's mouth. like a it's like a punch in the face. Yep. But in a good way. And you're really good. Something, you're drinking something from Ireland, it's like taking a tablespoon of dirt and putting it in your mouth, which is awesome. In a I good love, way. I love, in a really I love good campfire way. dirt. You know? It's delicious. Okay, but I yeah. think on that note, yep. Uh, we'll see y'all next week. Let As us, always, let us know if there's something you want to hear. Yes. Yep. Excellent. Time for the awkward Time close for up. The awkward, yes. Do it, Jill. Do it. Do it. Do it.